Behind me are what used to be my beautiful okra plants. The plants that have those beautiful flowers and that produce such a wonderful crop of okra for us that we would eat at so many of our meals throughout the summer. So far there has not been a frost, but today it's windy and because the okra are on a balcony, they won't have the warmth from the earth below them. This pot is now going to be surrounded by cold and the plants themselves, which are going to be up in the air, they're likely going to get hit by frost. These rough poles here are last year's okra stems. Now, when it was time to replant in the container that had the okra last year, I naturally thought I needed to cut the okra off and take them out of the container. To my great surprise though, the old okra stems were as tough as wood. <laughs> this is another one of my stems from last year's okra. And this one I actually began chopping it off here, but how much like wood it looks like in the middle of this stem. So in this pot, I'm using this okra stem from last year to be a support for my tomato plants that are in this pot. Since my purpose in repurposing this container was to grow green peas that required supports so I could string rope up and so that the peas, the peas have tendrils and they like to climb up and they need supports. Well, I thought, why don't I just leave those old okra stems there and see if that's going to be good enough and strong enough to support my peas. And guess what? They've done a beautiful job. So here's the peas all growing here. I'm very, very happy with this experiment.